Hello and welcome back to the co-op football manager series with our good friend Ashman. Hey, hey. We're back today for... What are you doing? This would be the fourth full... Well, the third full season, the third... No, sorry, the third full season, the fourth season in total, because Ash had like those eight games at the start. And yeah, I'm handing back over to Ash today. So Ash, if you just want to give us a quick summary of the video on your channel that I will leave a link to just up here. Yeah, um, obviously you'll get much details of from, from a very attractive person who you're also seeing. <laughs> we, we started off the season with uh, Humene. Uh, Andrew did brilliantly the previous season, getting us up into the uh, Fortuna Liga, if yes. memory serves yeah. me correctly. Um, so yeah, we had we had the enviable position of trying to keep him in the division. Um, well, long story short, Humane were no longer in the division when the season finished, and we were no longer at the club either. So we jumped ship as fast as we could to uh, Scalicia, I believe they're pronounced. Um, who are a bit of a stronger team uh, from the same division. So we've done so there, um, and I believe I finished third best team in the league if we're looking at points, and I think actually positionally, I think seventh, seventh. yeah. Yeah, from the, from the way the league splits. But we've left Andrew with, hopefully, some stuff to go with to push towards the European positions. So we had lofty ambitions for the season, and we started that off by bringing in a few players. We had Diabate coming from Legia Gdansk, if you remember them from my FM22 series. Um, yes. We're going to call him Dennis. We, we bought, we bought <laughs> Dennis in, Dennis. a central midfielder. We then Dennis brought in good. Bedardo, a right winger, and Francis, <laughs> a left winger, who ended up we sent him out on loan. It wasn't great. Is that Uber Uber Bu Uber Buke or something like that? What Francis, was the yes. Um, and then <laughs> uh, we also brought in uh, Patrick Reading on loan. Or oh, is it Reading? It's Reading. Who knows? On loan from Air United as a left back. Um, so not many signings, but we didn't have much to work with, if we're being honest. So Ash, what do you think yeah. we did with that season? Right, so the way that the season was going towards the end, the players that you've brought in seem potential. Um, the players that you've lost, yeah, doesn't seem to be too damaging. Um, I know Sturza going was a bit of a heart, uh, a bit of a hit, but he'd already signed and the also, contract. Diabate was a good replacement for him. To be fair, he does look pretty decent. To be fair, um, I'm going to say you got into the kind of top half okay. group from the European playoffs group yeah. or whatever that is. I think you got there, but I'm going to say you've just missed off European. I think you finished okay. in fourth. So that's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. We did finish in that top half. Wonderful. And from that moment on, we got battered. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? To be fair, I didn't even take that into account because <laughs> of course you're going to be playing against much stronger opposition. So, aren't you? Let, um, let's just, um, so we had mixed, Start to the season, as you can see. Um, but yeah, we were picking up wins here and there. In the cup, we took Bratislava all the way to penalties, and they finished second in the league. They're kind of one of the top, the two teams that yeah. exist. To be honest, I'm surprised that Strader have been so effective. Yeah, Should we say? I've honestly four, never heard of all league titles in a row. So. They're, they're on to something there. Obviously, F FM and them, best friends. And so I believe <laughs> <laughs> this that. game against Bratislava was where the it's season got off. <laughs> well, you can see it against the championship group. And we picked up, we picked up two wins. It looked great. <laughs> Uh, that harks back to my Jimeno season, that does. Two two good games to start off, you thinking, this is it. This is me. And then you didn't score a goal for, <laughs> for 10 games. Um, oh, that could have We also better. then lost in the European places, so playoff semi final as well. That's understandable, to be fair. Um, However, I, yeah, I will seems... caveat all of this 
with the fact that if okay. you look from this game here, right? Um, so here, and Koviak got a hat trick. Yeah, and Koviak got a goal. And you'll notice here he stopped playing because in a training session he broke his leg. <laughs> as star striker. That's, that's not that. He idea, got. Admittedly, not amazing, but eleven goals this year. Well, uh, from what you sent to me, our uh, assistant manager would prefer him over Harland he would, as well. Yes, apparently, he would. So, um, I wonder if that includes a broken leg or not. So, although I think it was a stretch for us, I think we would have picked up a few more results in this section, like against Trent. Yeah, and- I mean, it doesn't look like you got battered. You just. You just stopped yeah. scoring. That's literally yeah. what happened. And um, it all coincided with his broken leg. So I think that was kind of... Yeah. I think in my mind, I, I kind of knew that was going to be a struggle. Once that happened, for us to do anything after that was, wasn't was very likely. Ideal. We have... Oh, when's he, uh, I was going to say, when's he due back? Uh, he's due back in... Let's have a quick look. Between seven weeks and four months. So he might not be back for the start of your season. In fact, this season start the season here starts in like mid July, so he's definitely not going to be. Seems I need to bring it, in a new forward. Uh, you were you about to show me? And the also, thoughts? I'd like to point out he's going to come back with a floppy leg as well. So you know, um, I was going to so show you the youth players because we had a couple of good ones come through. A new striker bench. <laughs> what? Who's Michael Watts? Oh, is that another what, Irish what? fella, isn't it? Right, he, is he? He's a striker. He's not one of the ones that just came through. Uh, but, I mean, 11 finishing. There's a potential yeah. you can squeeze in and do a little bit do a little bit of damage. Oh, Diabate's a potentially a striker yeah, there as well. He's, looking at he's that. decent up front. Not amazing, but... The nine finishing yeah. is a bit questionable, but... As a support striker, I think uh, he could and do this stuff. guy came through this year, an attacking midfielder, sixteen technique. He he looks pretty, looks pretty good, good, to be fair. Um, I'd... vision's a bit questionable for a playmaker, but other than yeah. that, like everything else, I didn't give him good. a chance. I'll be honest, but it is what <laughs> it is. To be fair, you might as well have thrown him up front with that, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, not the best of seasons, and also, um. I'm currently overspending. That does appear to be an issue. Um, it's only just, but it doesn't leave a lot of wiggle room. Where where do you stand in us looking for a new job again? <laughs> Funny you should say that. I don't. As I say, I don't think we've uh, really done a lot. We haven't, but I have so been Warren, applying. The Antwerp one would be tasty. I think realistically, if you go in main, main kind of mainland Europe, I don't know, I said main three times in a row, you're looking at at least yeah, second I, tier, uh, aren't we? I doubt I mean, very much that we'll be able to jump straight into... I went for the um, 1860 Munchen job. Why did I call them Munchen? Are they still uh, They involved? told us to get lost. That's but. awkward. To be fair, I've got a bit of a shaky history. You have. You have. I did. I did a series with them that lasted one episode. <laughs> <laughs> It could have gone bad. I'll have, a, I'll have a little bunch of what I can do. There's a potential we might still be here. I've just noticed Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank is the leading candidate for the Antwerp <laughs> job. So, I applied for me. Antwerp, which I think is a very ambitious one, if I'm being honest. Uh, mm. Rapid VN, again, I think is a little bit ambitious. I also went for the Bayern 2 job. Yeah, I, I actually wouldn't be against trying a uh, kind of a B yeah, team d- or a secondary during the team. Season, but... I did apply for Real Castillo as well. Um, but just depends what you get. I've never, honestly, I've never done one of them, so it would be interesting to see kind of what your limits are. I expect you're not going to be able to sign players for the Yeah, I don't, team, I don't think but... you have much control, but I think because yeah. of this run of form, I, mean, like I, was ju- I was just like, I need to not, <laughs> just... I need to give Ash some hope by coming back with a new job or something, but unfortunately that wasn't a bit. I've also, I'd like to point out, you might need to sort out a new contract. Um, I'm a manager. Get me out of here. Oh, it seems that they're going to get you out the, of here. They, <laughs> they are. They are through this contract. A month. We've got. We've got ten okay. days. But I was holding off in hopes of uh, 
I'll be honest, in hopes of 1860 Munich. Um, okay, so, so, thoughts. I generally hand over to you in 12 months' yeah. time. If we were to reject that contract, would you permit me, and theoretically that could take a few seasons, would you permit me to just come back at the end of the season with a new team, whoever that may be, or do you think we'll just take the contract renewal and try another season with this? I think I think this is a good one where we can both have the input yeah, because um, it's at that thing. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence. To I be think the, the main um, issue I've got is if one of these jobs doesn't come in, I don't know where you go from there. This yeah. is what I'm saying. I'm I'm happy to just just click through until something comes up that seems a bit tasty. I think there's a there's a possibility because we've had a promotion, we've had a few decent decent kind of seasons. Our win, what's our uh, win percentage? If you look, look on. Interrupting me trying to take um, a cup of tea. Uh, our win percentage <laughs> is not great. Where's the stats at the top four? Yeah, it's not too bad considering we haven't been a good team. It's not too bad, but that's not ideal. But it's our not too bad. Percentage Reputation, hover so, over, please. Twenty uh, percent. Eh. Well, you get up to like 50, 60 is the point where you can start looking at like Champions League teams, like yeah. decent teams. So I don't think it's that far off. Um, I'm inclined to just let the contract run its course and I'll come back at the end of the season when, or whoever it is that we pick up a job with. I'm yep. not expecting it to be anyone particularly tasty, but I think Skelicha with the assumption that Antovi Ankoviak isn't going to be, isn't, isn't going to have a shooting boots yeah. on with a wobbly ankle. And the fact that he's not going to be here for the first few months. And the fact that I've got very little money to try and pick up a new star striker. I mean, just out of interest, like, I can't think how you see it. it? Attributes. It's bravery, I think, oh, that you normally click on, wouldn't it? <laughs> Went off it by accident. Um, they're not dropping as much as they could have done. Yeah, it's usually pace and bravery that take a hit with an injury yeah. like that, but... Uh, um, bravery has actually I'm... just stayed the same. Yeah, flatlined. His pace has dropped off. Is that major? Uh, hold on. Bit? Pace dropped down. Yeah. It's Minimum. still in the 11. No, it's dropped down to 10 at the end. Um, but... Yeah. I don't know. What, what, what do you think? What do you think? Stay? Should we stay or should we go now? I'm tempted to, to uh, agree with you and say leave because. More than anything, I just I think we're going to struggle to progress them much more than where they are. Yeah, I think our best bet's going to be picking up another team in the division if we want to get Europe yeah. from here. And even if we do, it's going to be a struggle. I might very well do that. Uh, I'm not going to say definitely what I'm going to do. I mean, who but, knows? Uh, Maybe one of those three jobs come back to you in those final 10 days of yeah. your contract. I've got... Maybe we yeah, get a tycoon takeover. Month, is it? Who oh, knows? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I do. But I've I've taken your information on board. Im imagine you and... get a tycoon takeover now. And yeah, just that would give us five pounds. Take the Fortuna Liga by storm. I might try and find a team with the most awkward pronunciation just to ruin <laughs> you. But it would be a problem for you as well. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I can get. I'll, I'll, you I'll have to it. talk most in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it's, it's an interesting predicament. Yeah, we'll got. we'll leave it there. I will send the save over to Ash, and let us know down below what would you do in this scenario. Would you be signing for another year with Skalika, and seeing where you can go from there, or would you be letting your contract expire and? looking for new horizons i i'm inclined either one of them could be the right thing to do i just worry yeah m the main worry i have would be if if you leave and you can't get anywhere that's anything other than a step down 
to be fair, there's not much that is a step down. To be you fair, you could end up back at Whomeda in the nicest, out of interest, in the nicest way out possible. Out of interest, just very quickly, did they get promoted? Oh back dear, then? no. Where are they? Oh my god, they're like thirteenth. <laughs> and with that, oh. oh, sorry. While you're here, see how that um, centre back got on. Do you know the one that I said oh, yeah. I was threatening to um, say? Did he actually have a good season? Is he even there anymore? It doesn't appear to me. Go to your transfer history. The, yeah, he's the, gone to the game Gdansk, here. funnily enough. Look at that. Look at him go. We'll go over to Liga Gdansk. I did apply for them. We'll, we'll drag him up from the youth team. <laughs> he's staying. He's staying in this thing. He's going to make a reappearance, Andrew, whether you like it or not. I'm not opposed to it if, if he can improve on his 6.58 and 6.7. <laughs> but we'll leave it there. Good luck, Ash, with the next season. Uh, I'm intrigued Thanks. as to where we'll end up. But as I say, uh, leave a like down below. Uh, leave a comment. What would you do in this scenario? Subscribe and obviously head over, subscribe to Ash's channel as well. He does some all right stuff. <laughs> some of the time. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching.